Jon Stewart, the greatest Green Lantern we had in the Justice League animated series. Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Today, we are going to take a look at our friend Jon Stewart. When the character first started, he had the classic Green Lantern costume for roughly three and a half seconds. And the first thing that the, the character did in the comic was to get rid of the mask. So we will get rid of the mask as well. And originally the character pretty much started with the classic uh, Green Lantern costume. It pretty much was that simple. And uh, later on they tried to give him uh, different costumes or, or tweaks on the Green Lantern costume in order to try to make him different. As if he wasn't different enough to begin with, but uh, what, what can you do? So early on this is pretty much what our friend uh, Jon Stewart looked like in the comics. At first he was only as a replacement for Hal Jordan for some reason. Uh, then eventually uh, uh, Hal Jordan was in Green Lantern for a while and our friend Jon Stewart became the star of the comic, at least for a short while. But eventually uh, uh, Hal Jordan came back into the comics and then sadly the comic was uh, cancelled and then it was relaunched as the Green Lantern Corps or something like that. Uh, the Green Lantern Corps lasted for a bit and then uh, of course as things often happen it reverted back to just Green Lantern uh, eventually. So for a while, this is pretty much how we knew our friend Jon Stewart in the comics. To create the classic Green Lantern look, simple enough, you use the slimline uh, chest piece, the new Genesis pants, here I'm using the stalwart defender boots, but there's a handful of boots that you could use, and I'm using the trim classic gloves. And obviously I'm using the enhanced version of the Green Lantern emblem, uh, you can get it either from the broker or from our friend Booster Gold in the Watchtower. And of course, I am using the uh, glowing chroma material. So as you guys know, most likely know, not too long ago, we had the power set chroma materials. I should probably make videos about uh, some of the chroma materials I did not cover, but uh, I thought that was long overdue for a, a Jon Stewart uh, video. So tonight is the night of nights. And eventually they started trying to tweak his Green Lantern costume to try to make him different. Uh, for some reason there was a lot less green and a lot less, uh, a lot more black on the costume. And for a while he had uh, the traditional Green Lantern white gloves, but it's something that went away uh, as time went by. This is about as close to one of the variations that the character had in the early 80s, mid 80s maybe. Around the time roughly of uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Here obviously I'm using the reverse slimline chest piece. For the gloves I'm using the Irie or not gloves, but I'm cheating a bit, I'm using the opalescent material to make sure that the gloves are, are white white. And the pants, it's the two color slimline pants. So the style is simple enough to create, the, the challenging part is to get the, the material. Which right now you should be able to get from the broker for fairly cheap. But right now you can get it for roughly 11 millions on a broker. So if you are a legendary player, you have no excuse, you should be able to be to get this material. Obviously, prices on the broker changes all the time. So right now it is roughly 11 millions, but if you look at the, the prices on the broker tomorrow, next week, next month, obviously the prices will be different. And the Green Lantern Emblem, again, you can get it either from the broker or you can purchase it from our friend Booster Gold in the Watchtower or in the Hall of Doom. Uh, this is pretty much the, uh, the version from the Justice League animated series. Uh, and in the animated series, they kind of streamlined this look a bit. Uh, basically, they streamlined uh, the look for the uh, for uh, the animation process. Uh, ideally, the less detail and the less uh, the less line work there is in a, in a design, the easier it will be to animate it. So this is a pretty darn good version of the, uh, the animated version from the Justice League cartoon. Of course, it's not exactly it, like uh, I had to use the Sinistro, uh, the Sin Sinistro gloves. So you can see there's a whole bunch of lines in the gloves that shouldn't be there. But within the context of DC Universe Online, this is about as close as I can get. For the Slimline pants, there's a whole bunch of Slimline pants you can use. Again, I'm using the reverse, uh, the reverse Slimline for the chest piece. And for the boots, I'm using the Stalwart Defender boots. But as you can see, we can create a pretty darn good version of our friend Jon Stewart from the Justice League cartoon. In the Justice League cartoon, they did a great job with this character. Uh, not only did they give him a personality, they made him an ex-soldier. Uh, I think in the comic he was an architect at that point. 
But they, they added a layer where he was uh, used to be a soldier. Although they may, they may have added that in the comics first, I forget. And also, there was the whole relationship that they developed with uh, between him and Hawk Girl, which was uh, pretty, pretty awesome. If for some reason you guys did not see the Justice League cartoon, you have to watch it. It's a classic. The first season was a bit iffy. They were they were trying to almost recreate the Super Friends and aiming the, the show at a younger crowd. But the, the second season uh, was 10 kinds of awesome. And uh, afterwards, it got even better and better with each new season. Sadly, the show only lasted roughly four seasons. It's sad, but it happens. And speaking of the Justice League animated series, within the animated series, we, we had one episode with an evil version of the Justice League who called themselves the Justice Lords. And if basically it's just the Jon Stewart uh, costume in reverse, if it makes any sense. So you can recreate a very good version of our friend Jon Stewart as a Justice Lord, just using the same style that we used before. And for the emblem, I'm using the Alan Scott emblem. It's closer to what the, the character used, uh, the Justice Lord, the character used in the, the animated series. The one change I made was the for the emblem. I'm using the Alan Scott, the Green Lantern Alan Scott uh, enhanced emblem, which you should be able to purchase either from the broker or from our friend Booster Gold. There is a version of Jon Stewart that I saw uh, when, when I was doing a bit of research with Google. It kind of looks like something straight out of the 90s. I don't know if it's something that was done in the 90s uh, for a short while. But anyway, I thought we could uh, recreate that a bit. And for the chest piece, I'm using the Argus uh, chest piece. The same with the gloves. For the pants, it's the quick suit pants. And the boots, I went with the Cyan of Ion boots. Again, I'm using uh, the glowing chroma material. And I'm using the opalescent material for the gloves. So I thought it was, this was a nice uh, variation on our friend uh, John Stewart. Although for the moustache, I wish we had a, a better moustache than that, but eh, what can you do? Uh, sadly for a while in the late 80s and most of the 90s, it's as if DC didn't know what to do with the character. So at some point, they tried to turn the character into uh, a character known as a Dark Star. Basically, they came up with this new organization that was uh, kind of like the Green Lanterns. They, they were calling themselves the Dark Stars. And were sort of patrolling uh, the, the universe. I forget if there were supposed to be some another kind of police or they, they were patrolling some other sectors that the Green Lantern didn't cover. I read a few Dark Star comics way back when, and I, I completely forget what, what those comics were about. But at some point, our friend John Stewart was a member of the Dark Star. Uh, again, they didn't know what to do with the character, so they tried to make him a Dark Star character. And within this universe online, we could create a somewhat good version of the Dark Star version of uh, John Stewart. Although I wish I had the Kryptonian uh, Slimline uh, chest piece, it would be an even better fit. But here, the, the streak uh, Slimline chest piece works uh, well enough. Again, it's the tall uh, trim classic gloves. For the pants, it's the tertiary, uh, tertiary Slimline pants. The boots is the Siren of Iron boots. The shoulders, it's the escaped inmates. And for the emblem, it's the Orion emblem. And of course, obviously in this case, I'm using the Furious Chroma material, which works uh, great with this look. And I'm using the Moonstone material for the shoulder piece. I probably should have made videos about the, the other materials I didn't cover just yet, but I thought it'd be a good idea to cover our friend uh, John Stewart, now that we had an awesome material that could allow us to recreate a very good version of our friend John Stewart. Some of you guys have requested that I make a Guy Gardner video. I'll make that. I'll try to make that soon. But I will try also to cover the, the materials that I did not cover just yet. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. So that is pretty much it for now, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below. And I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.